Lelua asked me to share my holistic health journey with her audience. And so Lelua, this is for you. Lelua, to be honest, I wouldn't say my health journey has been as holistic as I would like to claim it has been. Um, I've largely focused on my relationships with food and so that has really meant that I've neglected certain areas of my health journey. For example, I'm not particularly fit. But I love the fact that you use the word holistic because it does point to the fact that health is holistic and we should approach it as such. So I'm going to talk about my relationship with food because that's where the bulk of my health journey has really played out. I would say my health journey started in earnest in 2015 when I did the raw food um, challenge I basically challenged myself to eat raw food for 21 days that means I was eating plants um, raw plants including fruits vegetables nuts and seeds it was phenomenal I absolutely enjoyed that experience it remains one of the most transformative experiences for me to date and that's just because it really taught me that connection between my uh, my body and food and how food can be such an important component of my health and well-being. Um, during the 21 days, I managed to uh, clear up my skin, lose some weight, and I felt really, really good. So that's when it started because I felt very enlightened by that experience. The challenge, however, is that I found sticking to the diet long term particularly difficult. And so in the years that followed, I really, really struggled with some... Um, not so great eating habits. Not being able to stick to the raw food diet long term meant that I was oscillating between eating raw food and eating cooked food, but also developing a very um, difficult relationship with junk food because on those days when I wasn't eating raw, I was really stuffing my face with junk food. And so in the four years that followed after the raw food challenge that I did in, 21, in 2015, I I really, a lot of my issues with food came to the surface. I realized that I was using food as an emotional crutch. I was stress eating and all of these things were really complicated, complicating my relationship with food. To add to that whole mess, I also have irritable bowel syndrome and insulin resistance. And somehow during that period of four years, I managed to worsen my gut health, my insulin resistance, and my irritable bowel syndrome. And it's only in 2015, after having gained 17 kilograms, I'm feeling extremely, I just wasn't feeling good in my own skin. I was unhealthy. My, my, my stomach was constantly hurting. I then um, asked one of my colleagues who was on a health journey herself, which meal plan she was on and she told me about dr cohen's diet i then went into that program because i really was desperate for a change and that's the program that has helped me lose 22 kilograms and also the program that that helped me heal some of the underlying issues that were causing me to overeat or causing me to have a very difficult relationship with food since i completed dr cohen's program last year in july by the end of the program i had managed to reverse my insulin resistance uh, reversed my irritable bowel syndrome in other words i wasn't experiencing as severe um, and frequent uh, symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome and I also managed to lose 22 kilograms. All in all it was a positive experience. I've been on a journey of figuring out how to maintain a healthy lifestyle without upsetting my um, my 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 stomach because i've got irritable bowel syndrome and those who have irritable bowel syndrome know how much it can complicate your relationship with food so i've been trying to figure out how to keep the weight or how to manage my irritable bowel syndrome while also in reintroducing certain pleasantries like you know a bit of junk food here and there but that's been my holistic uh, health journey it's really been a long journey of trial and error the past six years of my health journey have really taught me to focus on improving and healing my relationship with food and healing my relationship with food for me has been about reflecting on the various aspects that have affected how I relate to food. These aspects include my medical conditions, my history with food, my genetics, um, my environment, and my social life as well as my culture. It just, it's been about recognizing that there's so much more to how I relate to food than just simply 
uh, you know following a particular diet and i've really been focusing on being inquisitive inquisitive about what uh, about how these different factors influence my relationship with food i'm of the view that far more important than um, following any particular diet is really just interrogating why we eat the way that we do um, particularly for those of us who have had difficult relationships with food I think we can learn a lot from doing that reflection and then doing the hard work that it takes to improve that relationship okay thank you for watching and thank you for the question Lelua